All right, so you guys have probably seen this guy. I've talked about it a lot on the channel before. This is the SIG P365X Macro with the Icarus grip module on it. Awesome gun, but I think I might have something a little bit better. This right here might be better than the 365X Macro. This is the 365XL, which typically has a smaller capacity. So with this new Icarus XXL grip module, you have a PMM Comp 365XL slide. You have the macro size frame right here so you can put the macro magazines so i'm gonna fire a full magazine for the macro i'm gonna hit them all on target try to shoot it fast relatively quick and see how that recoil feels then i'm gonna take the 365 xl with the pmm comp and we're gonna try that one as well so let's try it first round's macro the macro shoots great it's a very smooth shooter That's flat. That shoot's really flat. That feels great. I'm gonna have some of the Black Diamond guys, Josh and Josh, try this thing out. All right guys, Josh from Black Diamond Guns of Gear out here. We're gonna shoot the X Macro. I'm not a SIG guy, in case y'all didn't know that. Until you shoot this. I'm just not a SIG person. Maybe that'll change. I dig it. Try this guy now. I imagine that this is equal to the X Macro, like as far as length wise. Uh, a little longer. Wow. Talk about shooting flat, dude. Yeah, right? Wow, that is insane. The frame just fits into your hand. That's the thing with these. Uh, Icarus Precision ones, they just, they melt into your hand. Hey guys, this is Small Josh from Black Diamond Guns of Gear, and first off, we're gonna shoot the X Macro with the Icarus Precision grip module. Now we're gonna shoot it first, and then we're gonna go to the one with the PMM comp and uh, barrel. So I've always digged the X Macro see what we think of this other one so like I said this has got the PMM barrel and comp on it and also the bigger Icarus uh, grip module to fit everything Let's see what we think Wow that's fast to do transitions with man I really dig it Guys, go check it out. It's the PMM slide or PMM comp and barrel combo there. I dig it. I was told by a couple people throughout the past few months that they've been automatically unsubscribed from my channel. I don't know what's going on exactly, but YouTube also did give me a uh, strike warning just recently uh, for a video that I posted a year and a half ago that doesn't actually violate any terms and conditions or community guidelines. In case you guys are an existing subscriber, if you can go ahead and check to make sure you're subscribed and have that bell notification set to all, there's a possibility that YouTube automatically unsubscribed you from my channel. This right here is a SIG P365XL. This is the same gun that you guys saw me post in that top five video, except there's a huge change that happened. This is the new Icarus P365XL. It's like an XXL frame, so this thing's extra long in the end. Now that I have this big frame over here, so I put the Surefire X300 light on the bottom to kind of give you guys a size comparison. This took my 365XL and turned it into a full-size gun. So I'm gonna take this light off real quick just to kind of show you. So here it is, you have a full-size frame. Look at that full-size pick rail with one, two, three, four, five slots on the bottom. So it makes this thing an even better performer now is since you have that long frame, it can accommodate the PMM barrel and comp setup. So, which fits perfectly flush on the front over there. So this setup with the PMM comp is one of the flattest shooters I have ever fired. I mean, stupid flat. Takes this thing and almost turns it into like a 22 like recoil. So let's talk about that PMM comp and barrel real quick. So the big thing with this guy is 
This barrel is built for this compensator. So this thing has half by 28 threading, but the big difference is the threading's a lot shorter. So I believe you can use a standard threaded barrel that has the half by 28 thread pitch on it. Since the threaded part is a little bit longer on a standard threaded barrel, you're gonna have that comp stand off a little further. So this PMM barrel right here has a short version of that half by 28 threading. So this thing fits perfectly flush right on the front. Pretty easy. This is the ETS cam speed loader. So what you do is you take your mag right here and then you insert it right into the speed loader like this. And then you take your ammo box and you just scoop up a row of rounds like so. And you take this guy, put it here and that's it. I just loaded up 10 rounds, that easy. Keep doing that for however big your mags are. No more mag thumb. Thank you, ETS. Just so my brain can keep things organized, I'm gonna call this the big module. All right, one nice thing about this big module is it takes macro magazines. The 365X macro magazine holds 17 rounds. So you have a very, very impressive capacity on this guy. Here's my Streamlight TLR7 sub, and this thing fits. That's what it looks like with the TLR7 sub. It's compact, the compensator does stand off a little further than the light. However, due to the size and the full size nature of this new big frame, you can also put something like the X300 on there. Now, one nice thing about the X300 is it protects the barrel from getting out of battery. If you have a light that actually stands out in front of that barrel, you don't have to worry about pressing onto the barrel and getting your gun out of battery where it won't fire or cycle. You have this to press against it. It's one thing to consider. One thing that I absolutely love about the Icarus modules are these little ledges right here, these little thumb rests for your thumb. Actually, I'm gonna take this back off to show you. You have these little thumb rests right up here for your thumbs. They stand out, they're not too aggressive, but they're very comfortable. You have these ledges to rest your thumbs on, and even a nice place to rest your trigger finger when you're not actually engaging on a target. These ledges right here really help you control that recoil. So I think combination with the added weight of the longer frame, these ledges for your thumb rest, and then the excellent PMM comp system, it's a seriously flat shooter. I thought the macro was good, this thing blows the macro out of the water at the slight sacrifice of being about a half inch longer because this PMM comp does stand off. So the macro has a built-in compensator that is part of the slide, whereas this PMM comp has the compensator that sticks off the front of a threaded barrel, and of course that means the barrel is compensated. Part of that could be the fact that the macro uses porting in the slide and a short barrel to get its compensation, whereas this guy has the compensation on the end of the barrel. So you're actually technically gonna have slightly better ballistics, even though they're extremely minute. And I mean like really minute. So compared to the 365 XL frames and modules, Icarus kind of stepped it up with the stippling and even bordering of their stipples, which looks really good. But here's the old stippling right here. This one does have that Mr. Big Kid logo on it, but you can kind of see that stippling just wraps everything, right? This is the stippling of this guy. Definitely enhances looks and you don't sacrifice that aggressive stippling. It's a nice diamond type texture on the stipple. That stippling is all the way on the front strap right here the side panel, and then even the back strap. It all just feels really good. You have some stippling up here as a reference point for your thumb. Of course, you have these ledges right here on the side. Very nice stippling, same stippling texture. And then let's look a little closer at that PMM comp right here. So what's really cool about this setup is that PMM comp just sits right inside the channel of this frame. It's attached to the barrel. So this is the PMM barrel, which is built for this compensator by Parker Mountain Machine. But that flush fit, is absolutely perfect. Now, one nice thing that I like about these Icarus modules is this beaver tail that sweeps up in the back right here. Um, it's very comfortable, and with recoil, a lot of times what you get and you don't realize, even if a gun sits comfortable on your hand, when you shoot for an extended range session, if this beaver tail doesn't sweep up, 
or if it has sharp edges, eventually it starts digging into the small of your hand. It gets sore and achy after a while. Uh, this doesn't happen. The way this thing is swept up, very comfortable. A little background about this 365 XL. I have had this thing in every configuration you can think of, just about. The only thing that's ever been stock on this is the fire control group and the slide. Everything else it keeps getting swapped out. Different optics, different grip modules, uh, PMM comp now. So overall, I think this gun's gonna stay this way because I've already Loctited that compensator on there. So I think this thing is a new 365 XL that I have. I think I'm gonna have to buy another one because I have a lot more 365 XL projects coming up. Icarus Precision XXL frame with the PMM comp, one of the flattest shooting guns I've ever fired, and that includes other full-size guns, guns that were built for competition. It's a very flat shooter. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate your viewership and patronage. Tell my viewers, members, and patrons out there, thank you so much for supporting me. I really appreciate that.